Okay, y'all, I'm back with part two of this video to show you guys how I style this wig. So the first thing I use is this Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco Replenishing Sheen Spray. This is oil sheen. My favorite one is the, um, the ORS one, but this is the only one I have. So I'm going to use that one. And then I go in with my Pump It Up Spritz, the OG stuff. I go in with my Got To Be, and this is for my edges. And then I have two little edge control brushes and don't mind this one this one is old and raggedy but see how tiny the little things are on this one so I like to use this one to lay my hair and I like to use this one to like when I spray the spritz and brush my hair down so I'm gonna be using both of these and then you're gonna need a brush <laughs> a brush and a freaking rat tail comb so I don't spray the oil sheen on my hair but I spray it on my hand like this and I'm putting this at the top because this is the part we're about to hot comb so once that's all on the top of your hair we're gonna take our beautiful hot comb which is still freaking hot we're gonna make the top of this flat even though you guys can see my hair is kind of already still flat because i just flat ironed it you just put it here and another thing i i be watching videos on youtube like when the hairstylist you know how they like hot comb your hair back like this i only like to do that on the sides i don't i like the top of my hair to like flat down so it looks more natural see like this part here I go straight down like this instead of bringing the hot comb backwards I'm gonna insert a clip I hope I have it but of the inside of this wig because this wig is from evil wigs and this is their new false scalp wig y'all look at this part the only thing I had to do was add like a little bit of um, foundation to it because girl they don't like when companies send you well not i'm not gonna say companies because not all companies do this, but a lot of companies that send you hair with knots that are already bleached they don't come toned so it was hella orange me and my boyfriend went out the other day he took me somewhere and we were in auto we were in o'reilly's and he was all like your hair looks orange and i looked in the mirror that shit was so orange but other than that i think it's a good thing that these um wigs come like bleach and everything because even if you do have that problem all you have to do is go in with that purple shimmer light shampoo and tone it so it won't look so orange but I didn't have any so you can see it doesn't look orange anymore but I just went in with my foundation on top of it I just wanted to show you guys like a quick styling video me styling my hair and my edges for sure because everyone on YouTube I mean on Instagram I always ask how do I do my edges? What do I do my edges with? But those are usually like pictures where I have ponytails. So usually when I do my edges, when I have like a ponytail, I use, um, what's that called? The 24 hour edge tamer. I use that one, the extra hold one. And I use that. But when I'm doing my wigs and stuff, if I'm not going to lie. If it's a closure wig, I do use, I still use the edge control. But with a frontal, I don't like to use it because it's, it's going to lift up. So now I'm about to go in with my pump it up spritz. And again, I don't like to spray it on my head. I like to spray it in my hand. And now I'm going to go on with the back of my flat iron. I was about to say hot comb. No damn what is not a damn hot comb. But yeah, when I'm doing my um my edges, like with a frontal, I like to use this. And I mix it with this because sometimes you could go overboard with this and this crap turns white as hell. But y'all, I have nothing but honestly good things to say about this hair. And this is straight hair. But when I washed it and I let it air dry, it was so wavy. Like, you can literally do like a wet and go with this freaking hair. Look at this hair. And the ends are so full. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, now what I'm about to do. So I can show y'all my edges. I'm putting this behind my ears so I can do my edges. Okay, so I'm about to take this witch hazel and a little one of these. Oh, well, I took two of them. I and I'm about to wipe off where I'm going to lay my edges. So you see I already sectioned out the part where I'm going to lay my baby hairs. So what we're going to do is just pull that back. We're just going to wipe where it's going to lay. And I'm going to do the same thing on the sides too right here. Oh and for because I know you guys are going to ask why do I leave like a little bit of my edges out? It's because I have a low hairline on the side. And honestly I only ever made one custom wig that fit my hairline. And 
that came out so bomb and I tried to do it again on another one of my frontals and I botched that shit you guys like that was horrible so I figure I'm gonna just do it the OG Shea way and leave my edges out on the side it makes it look more natural anyways when I have my natural hair right here I need to get a mannequin head you guys so I can start um mimicking my hairline because I see a lot of YouTubers with like low hairlines on the side like mine and widow's peaks I always cover up my widow's peak I don't mind my widow's peak because it's like I have all this space right here and then on the side it's like super low so I don't mind covering my widow's peak but I see a lot of YouTubers like mimicking their hairlines and stuff and I'm just like how y'all are blessed y'all got the the hands of God but I'm gonna insert a picture right here from the hairline that I'm talking about of the wig that I did and it came out so bomb but y'all it took me two days to do that damn thing two days so I took a little bit of the oil sheen on my finger and I'm gonna run it through here I'm just gonna use my flat iron I hate using my flat iron on this part because I always burn myself every time oh see it never fucking fails I always burn myself oh that's why I like to use a hot comb. For some reason with the hot comb, I never burn myself. And then the rest of the oil that she knows on my hand, I'm just putting it through here. Oh Lord, please don't burn. Please don't let me burn myself. Y'all, I didn't burn myself on this side. Okay. I know my hair looks stupid. Where are I doing my comb? Oh. Don't you guys hate like when you think you misplaced something but it's right in front of you and you just don't see it because you're overlooking? I'm going to take these big old scissors but right here but that's just because I don't know where my little eyebrow scissors are. And you see the little part that I told you that we sectioned out like before. And you're just going to cut straight across like this. Cut all that off. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to take a tiny amount like see how that little bit comes out right there? And that, that's that's like the size of a little lentil, if you guys know what the hell a lentil is. And you're gonna lay it all down. We're about to use this to swoop our edges. I'm sorry y'all, when I'm doing my eyebrows or when I'm like doing my edges, I gotta be quiet because I gotta be focused on these things. Okay, that's swooped and then on this side i'm not gonna honestly do too much to the little swoops right here i'm gonna just mm, do i want to nah i don't want to <laughs> i'm lying y'all know i can't go without my little swoops on the side okay and then since you see how i put too much of that gel like if i let it dry it's gonna dry white so what i do is take my spritz and i put it on top of it that's why you need that spritz when I said you need your spritz for this part too. And then here you're just going to blend the hair in like this. Like so. Oh, I forgot I had the bobby pin. Take the bobby pins out, y'all. Don't be me. Don't don't do this. Take the bobby pin out. I forgot the bobby pin was in my hair. Take a little bit of spritz on your finger and then just blend that in. And that is one side made. You see, it just looks natural. It all looks like the lace. Like, but it's my edges. Put it on. I don't like to put it all the way down, like all the way down here, because I don't want the got to be to get in my hair. And honestly, I don't need the spritz on this side because I didn't put a lot like I did the right side, but we're still going to put some. Excuse me. Then you're going to go in with some more spritz, like I said. And you're just going to blend this bottom part in so it stays. And you're done. No, I'm just joking. But you're almost done. I don't, you see my little ear tabs right here? I don't do nothing to those. I just think it looks pretty when you have it behind your ear. You can cut them short, but I'm not going to cut mine. Now let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is the hot comb. Like, you know how some of the YouTube, not YouTube, 
a lot of people who do hair if you see them on instagram they like to hot comb this part back where it sits up so they'll take the hot comb and hot comb it back like this and it looks like that i don't like that so you see how since i just put it to the side how it just falls like this and it looks so much more natural even though it still looks nice either way like when i first wore this wig I did it. I did the hairline like that because I wanted to see like how it looked on me because I always like if you guys see my straight hair on Instagram and stuff it always just looks like this where it falls in my face so I want to see what it looked like it was cute but I like my way better Bomb. y'all look at this like let me let me get up a little bit so y'all can see oh y'all like and this hair is 16 inches i'm gonna show y'all where it falls on me it's like um whatever you call this part of your back where you're if you guys have back dimples or your back dimples are that's where the hair falls love why did you stare at me like that no, I was re I was referencing like if you have back dimples, this is where it falls. Why would I show them my back dimples? No, I was trying to see. Uh oh, you hear this boy? He was trying to see. Y'all should have seen the way he was looking. <laughs> but okay, now we're done. We're done. This hair is so bomb. Like, look how flowy it is. Oh my freaking goodness! I love evil wigs. I love this hair, you guys. I, I only got shedding from the um from the frontal part but that's because I was tweezing it and I do get I'm I do get a little bit of um shedding when I comb it with this little small comb that's because it's a small tooth comb like you're not supposed to comb your hair with that but it's my wig I can do what I want with it so you know but other than that it's like really no shedding like I washed the hair I didn't wash the hair the first day that's another thing about this wig I suggest when you guys get like the straight hair to actually wash it too because when the first day I wore it and I did not wash it the hair did not come out bone straight like this. Like, it did not come out straight. But after I noticed when I washed it the other day and then now I'm flattering it, like, this is, like, bone straight. The wig that I received is, the SKU number is 6LF19517. It doesn't have a name, but if you go on their website and you type in that SKU number, 6LF1957, I also put that on the screen right here. The hair length is 16, the natural color is black, and it is 180% density, and it's 100% virgin human hair. The cap construction is a 4-inch deep parting glueless lace front cap, lace front cap, and the cap size is average, so this can fit any head, basically. And also, you guys, they gave me a discount code for you guys. If you guys go to their website and check them out, you guys can use the code SHAMERY on all their wigs. Or you can use New Ten for all the um, the false scalp unit ones, the ones that have the thing on here. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? I don't know what it's called, but y'all will see it on there. They have the um, when you go on there and you type it in. Like if you type in the SKU number on this one, it'll tell you the full exact name of it with the um, the false scalp and stuff. So if you guys use the code New Ten, I'll put it right there too. You guys will get some money off when you guys purchase a wig. I'm gonna show you guys their Instagram. Because Eva Wigs is popping. This is their Instagram. Right here, you guys. Ooh, look at that highlight, babe. Oh my god. Oh my freaking goodness. <laughs> Cause it's focusing on the on the phone. So in the background, you can see my highlight like popping. <laughs> okay, y'all. That's enough of me rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please watch part one of this video. I will have that linked in the bottom of this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.